Hello, we are going to look at pentatonics. If you've learnt your pentatonic scale in that one position, which that's where we start a lot of the time, you may be confused or completely lost in how we play the rest of the, the neck. Um, there is five positions, if you look at the guitar that way, five of the same scale, but the fingerings are different. But maybe you've noticed that in this pattern or in this shape there's two patterns this distance and this distance so the pentatonic scale on this instrument is made up of this shape and this shape if i just look at it on one string so what i can do i'm going to use the second string and i'm going to go up to that first string, fifth fret. Now, instead of changing string, I want to find this note on the second string. So I need to slide up, and I will slide up how many frets? Either two frets or three frets, because three frets up, two frets up. These are the patterns, two frets, three frets. So I'll try just Try my exercise, try three frets, no, two frets up. So I'll change the fingering, I'll slide into it, or slide and hammer on, slide and slide. Next note, I'll try two frets, nope, still sounds alright but it's not that. Three frets up. Go down. Let's try two frets down. That works. So you only have the option of moving two frets up or three frets up or two frets or three frets down on any string and that will give you your notes on the pentatonic scale. So why do we need this? Because you do, <laughs> if you want to play all over the neck. But the cool thing is, if you're wanting, that was not right, um, but if you're playing, maybe you can find cool ways of playing licks. You know, that's not possible going across strings this way. So, there you go, that's it, that's the idea. It's nothing, nothing cray cray, that's just it. So, if you're wanting to get out of that one box shape uh, in a different way, that's it. Or well, that's one of them. So, yeah, that'll do. Have fun, hit me up for lessons if you want, and uh, I'll see you next time, cheers.